Wait, he's winning now? Wait, what? <laughs> oh no! Oh no, what happened? I turned it I turned it off too soon. What do we have? Um Queen versus Rook. Thanks just on Earth, they give us a sub. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Not King F6 is a Rook G6, of course. Uh, becoming old, accusing people of cheating. Eh. I, I, as I, I've said, you, I've told you guys a few times already before, as far as these sorts of things go. Um, it's one of the reasons I won't stick around chess, you know, past my due date, shall we say? Because the problem with chess, and I've said this a few times before, is that the 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 biggest thing in terms of getting really good is basically being a psycho. And by being a psycho, what I mean is that you have to not live in reality to some degree. You have to believe that you're the best. You're going to win every game. You know, these sorts of thoughts, which are objectively very, very bad when it comes to real life, make no mistake about it. I'm going to play knight of three here. Um, but, you know, if you think you're the best, you think you should always win every game, you should never lose. These sorts of thoughts, like in the, having this confidence and ego, in order to be very good at chess, you have to have this. Every top player has it, even if some are better at not showing it than others they all possess this ability and the problem with that magus versus hans are they playing wait let's see um <laughs> they're playing okay well i guess boys there's our content let's play b3 there's our content for the um for our youtube video as soon as this uh, event ends we'll be doing a video on that so oh shoot he knows the theory um I'm gonna go C4 here. Oh, he plays A6. Interesting. I could take. Let's take. Let's go D4 here. But yeah, you guys, there's there's our content for the um. There is our content. So as soon as this event ends, we're gonna do a recap. And if I bomb out early, I'll do the recap even earlier. So if I lose the game before round 11, I'm not in the running. I'll actually just do a recap right on the spot. I think it adds the case for the 29th thing. Just on Earth, we get the sub. Appreciate it. So, um, yeah. Because that's not going to be a quick draw, is it? Um, is that going to be a quick draw? Let's, oh, let's take a look. Oh, no more moves. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's take. All right, I ended up in this line accidentally, although I do have an extra tempo. Here. I'm going to go queen a3 to trade the queens, basically. And then like knight c3 maybe as well Yay! that's right because once the game start you can't actually observe them i'm pretty sure what i'm doing here is not correct but i don't care i mean the, the old days they played like knight c3 and black goes for e5 just there I don't understand that at all let's go here logical I could play rookie three and rookie one um I could also trade I'm gonna go rookie three here just I don't even know if rookie three does anything specifically but if I stack wait if I go g3 what's this idea I don't understand knight of four at all actually knight of four seems like a very very what but e5 I just take looks a little bit suspicious to me he goes knight g5 I mean maybe this is okay but yeah probably this is actually okay for black but it looks very weird if I trade I, I get the idea um you know what I'm just not buying I'm not buying what he's selling so I'm gonna go here in knight c5 with like rook f1 yeah, I'm, I'm not buying it here because the bishop is so bad behind the pawn wall. If I get the knight to c5, I mean e5, I just take. I'm not buying what he's selling here. I'm really not buying it. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but e5, I just take. I've got knight c5. I mean, I think I should be fine here. Yeah, that's a mistake though I think he should have gone e5 and brought the bishop because now once I go rookie five 
I, I think he should have gone he should have gone e5 takes bishop g4 bishop f3 and played for the activity because now the bishop is just dead it's just walled in by the by the structure logical go here to hit the pawn on g5 also queen e3 also knight c5 yeah now now I should be much better I mean much better is too strong a word but Yeah, much better is too strong of a way of putting it but I, I i should not be in trouble as long as this bishop doesn't get into the game which it isn't here i'm, I'm just fine i maybe i knight c5 is just better knight c5 was much better but queen f6 looks like a bad move to me yeah now because rook f3 i just go queen e2 i could have played f3 too but i don't think it was necessary <laughs> okay goes h6 um f3 is a move I don't really like it but I also think it's pretty decent just because it takes away the square <clears throat> logical now the question is do I trade if I trade he takes and the bishop becomes active so I don't want to do that either could play h3 g4 maybe maybe just rook f I'm gonna go rook f2 it doesn't serve any actual purpose but it's a move it doesn't serve any actual purpose but it's a move some point I feel like I want to take and go f4 or gf gf no go a3 I'm way up on time though so I need to use oh maybe I can go g4 knight d3 wait actually yes let's go g4 because I have knight d3 to hit the rook yeah I should have seen that before playing this but whatever now I could also take with a pawn but I think I'll just take with the queen wait why am I worried about this uh because now he's got e f e5 d wait I've knight d3 maybe wait yeah I was thinking about takes takes for t2 but takes takes e5 takes takes check here takes takes e6 check him one check king f2 check king e3 it was actually probably winning but whatever okay, I'm gonna go back I think I'm gonna go for it here he's gonna play it again I'm sure king e3 I think this is winning oh he's gonna why did I do this um I don't want to do this but I have to I'm still probably gonna win this game but I'm not happy with my technique h5 is actually a pretty good move I think what am I doing go here okay now that's a mistake though because now he doesn't have Bishop g4 and his Bishop is still dead his Bishop still has no scope three two let's go here wait but now I get b5 and now I should win the game so I have b6 I push p and I push it all the way through yeah we got the win oh okay, let's take a look at the other game let's see Magnus is still playing wait let's refresh the board should be a draw looks like a draw should be a draw here maybe there's chess on earth that give something to Paul Tom thank you card tonight then n3p2n and thank you Bisu appreciate it thank you so much yeah I mean this should be a draw Magus threw away a big advantage okay I have watched Shogun actually yes I have Magus Magus was winning okay yeah I mean of course this is a draw perfect place so um 
he was much better okay let's go back to the early part of the game let's go back uh it's gonna actually no no let's see okay all normal he was better here I mean, he was he, he was better for like two moves. It's kind of hard to judge. Yeah, I mean, he was better, but it was for like two. It's not like a sustained advantage. It looks like a small advantage for like two moves. Although maybe here he probably got something more. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it was sustained. It looks like it was a very small advantage for a long period of time. So I think you M for 34. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't the one that I think you guys were acting as, as though it was. You're acting like it was like a 10 move advantage that Magnus messed up. It was like two moves in the in that middle game. Wait, he's winning now? Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, what happened? I turned it I turned it off too soon. <laughs> King F6. <laughs> King F6. What are you saying he meant to go King G6 and he slipped with King F6? Need a rise for the eight months okay here we go round over round over round over uh round over eight he slipped yes he slipped yeah all right well that's our content after we finish uh this event though go e3 here and c4 yeah go c5 um okay i'm gonna play this again this is what i just had last game right again so what's his name against um again two day two times in a row i'm gonna say i'm opening i just had this against sam chess mood um Yay! i think i'm gonna go b4 here i do have knight d4 here Let's go for this. So he takes, I have Chuck. I think I'm just going to go Knight C3 here with Queen H5. And Queen A4 also. There should be a three move here. Try to remember if I can play Bishop A3 here. I think I can. I'm going to go for it. Let's go here. Basically, I'm trying to recall old theory here that I've had from the other side that I've played with the opposite color. What? Wait, so if I take, take, take queen a one. Okay, but I don't have all day here to think. Fake queen a one. Queen a one, queen h5, queen d4. Yeah, I got to go though. Yeah, I just got to go. I, I can't think too long here. I think I've mess, messed this up, actually. Yeah, I've already messed this up completely. Maybe I can go like here, knight b5, knight d6. I could have also taken... Uh, But I've got to move quicker. I have 95. Um... I'm going to go for this. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to go for it anyway. But this is a mistake too. Or wait, no, maybe it's not. See what he does here. All right. 
Queen b3 is a move. Queen b3, b5, 97. Queen b3, 95. I'm going to go for this. I don't actually know if this is acceptable. Yay! It's a very, very tricky position for both sides. But I go here. Yeah, I mean, of course, I'm going to tell you guys every, my whole plan. Knight c4 is a very good move, too. Okay, I got to go, though. There should be three. Knight d2 or something. Okay, I guess I'll go here to hit the knight. I mean, I'm still kind of okay, but it's very, very murky. Of course, he saw this move. I um, have to go here. I'm still okay, but I can probably draw, but I don't know if I can actually win the game anymore. Title Tuesday, just too tough of a tournament these days. I have a pass pawn. That's the one thing. I've got a pass pawn. I've got the time edge. These are the two big things that I have going in my favor. Position's not great. That's the thing that's not in my favor. I'm going to go here. I want to go rook c7, but I can't do it right away because I hang the rook. It goes there. Um, I don't want to go a5. I don't want to take either. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. Maybe rook d2. Here. A mistake too, of course. <sighs> Guess I'll go here. Okay, now I'm just gonna pick up a speed and try to win somehow. Oh, now I hung this too. What the heck? game geez really really tough game ah uh, rook d2 and i was still fine <sighs> tough game uh i hate title tuesday oh bishop g2 wins wow bishop g2 is winning oh and rook c1 is better i went here Oh, oh my God, he's covering. Oh my God, he's covering G4. Oh man, he can just queen and I resign. Ah, ay 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 ay. But we got the win. It's it's what it is. Okay. All right. What happened to Magnus? Um, Magnus did Magnus lose to Lazovic? They had a wingman for the 39. They called me pro saying AL. Appreciate. It. Thank you.
go. Yeah, I didn't realize that the queen was covering G4. Jeez. Magus lost. Okay, so we're going to be on our second break of the day. Yeah. Oh, the camera focus was bad. Oh, what happened to my camera? You're right. You're right. What happened? Let's try again. Take two. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm just using a, um, I'm just using a Logitech Brio, just a basic one. Let me configure video. I mean, autofocus, where's autofocus? I don't know. Um, it's, it's not perfect. I mean, it's, it's, I'm just using a basic Logitech webcam. It yeah, help only for the 13. So, oh, the camera is trying to focus on the board. Yeah. Blur is better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. It's fine now. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Whatever it is, what it is, but that means we're on the breaks. We're on the second break of the day. Let's see what happened to Magnus. Um, uh, early title Tuesday. Let's check in or no, actually I need to check him directly. So Magnus Carlson, Magnus Carlson lost at Denlaz. What happened? Okay. Pretty normal stuff here. So Magnus, Magnus is better until he played Bishop D6. He's supposed to go rookie eight. Probably is worried about B4, but computer says takes, takes, and F5. Wow. Wow. F5 and black's better. Very tough position. They just on earth to give the sub. Yeah, very tough in a blitz game to find this. In a classical game, Magnus finds this for sure. But in a blitz game, he plays Bishop D6. And it's still actually okay for black though. It's not that bad. Magnus is still okay here. And then eventually it falls apart. I right, goes a five. Doesn't take the draw. Get this. Yeah. Now I just winning. Eh. Yikes. So thank you cutie jelly for the five. Give it a sub. Thanks so much cutie jelly. All right. So we're going to be taking our second break and um, we'll, we'll be right back in one second as we keep rolling with this uh, morning title Tuesday. Give me a second. Anyway, whatever. Hopefully the can hopefully hopefully the cam is okay if it's not so be it he rage quit no he did it on purpose thank you chess on whoa thank you so much chess on earth for the 100 gifted subs thank you so much to chess on earth for the 100 gifted subs appreciate it thank you so much um thank you so much okay um okay let's be solid here we're playing dennis lasvik I'm going to play one of my more stable solid lines. Let's go here in castle. Yeah, I think it's going to chest on earth for the 100 gifted subs. I could play a5. I could play bishop a6. I could play bishop b7 here. Um, he's going to go to knight c3. Play this one then. Takes, okay. Just take. Knight d7, knight six, queen eight is also playable, but I'm just gonna go bishop b7 back. The queen a4 does not look right. Let's go here to trade off the knights. Illogical. A6, b5, maybe. I need to win this game, right? Like, maybe. Maybe I don't have to win, but I, I wanna try to win. Let's go here. I'm just making sure there's no takes, basically. There's no takes or anything. Let's go here. 92, logical move. Go here on queen e7, maybe. Very, very boring position, actually. Very boring, but we'll see what happens. Strange move. Um actually not at, not really strange it just doesn't feel quite right maybe i'll just go here and queen b8 and rook c8 whoa thank you so much for chess on earth for the 100 gifted subs thank you so much for chess on the earth for the 100 gifted thank you so much for chess on earth for the 200 gifted subs appreciate it thank you so much thank you so much for chess on earth for the 200 gifted subs so far today thank you so much for chess on earth Okay, goes knight c3. Uh, with that, actually gives me knight a5, maybe. 
a knight c4. Like, it's not like this is necessarily great or anything, but... I think I'll go here, maybe knight d6, possibly. Probably I'm going to go queen b8 and rook c8 somewhere. Uh, now, I do have knight a3, but I'm just going to go back to d6 to cover the central squares. Let's go a5 here. If he takes, I just take. And then I go queen b8 and rook c8 here. Bum, bum. It goes b4, which looks a little bit wrong to me. Um, creates a weakness on c4, but I can't actually use the weakness. Knight c4 takes, takes, knight c5, takes, 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 takes. Rook c8. Hmm. Also just trade. Rook c8, eh, not really the move. Okay, I don't want to get too low on time here. I don't want to take on b4 on one hand. On the other hand, no, I don't want to take on b4. I don't want to take on b4. It's really knight c4 or... Hmm. I guess I'll go over this. I, I don't really want to play this, but I think it's probably objectively the best way of playing this. Like Bishop A6. I mean, I can still probably draw this quite easily, but winning is not going to be... I probably can't win this if he's precise. Okay, who's there? And of course, that's a good move. Um, <laughs> go here and knight d6 probably. Again, though, I can't really win this position. here I could trade I mean I don't really want to do this but I should be okay I'm just gonna bring the king close also bishop c6 just to hit the knight and the knight d6 um you gotta move you gotta move you gotta move um not a good move either by me uh let's go here to chip with that's Probably not great either, but it's still acceptable, I guess. Go. I think I'm gonna go here to guard the pawn, and I'm gonna go knight a5. Go here, because now the bishop guards the pawn. I mean, my knight's jumping a little bit. Knight D8 was also possible. Um, Knight C6. Okay, I should just make a draw, probably. Knight E2. Let's go here. Or a square. I think he's starting to misplay this a little bit. I might get some winning chances here, maybe. It's still a draw of perfect play, but I might get some chance to win, maybe. Do I take or do I go here? I'm going to go here first. I 
I need to press him hard on the clock here. Ah, this is a mistake. Forgot it, A4. Of course, he finds G4, and yeah, now I can't win. I might have tricked him again, though. Just a draw. I think for a move, I had a chance, maybe. Knight c4, not knight f5. Yeah, knight c4, and I have chances. Yeah, if I play knight c4, I probably win. If a4, knight b2 is the best, there's no way he would have gone for this. I forgot that he had a4. Knight c4. Yeah, knight c4 was the move that I missed. But anyway, whatever. Is it that is it so bad? Let's say it goes here. How bad is this? No, actually, wait, this isn't bad either. No, maybe it's not so bad, actually. Because there was no way he would have played a4 here. Just zero chance because of knight b2. If he goes like here, yeah, it's, it's not winning. Yeah, it's not winning. Neither you know, Jack Harp for the 14, Rafael Gustor for the 16, Liver Agabra for the 12, Bill Brett Benner for the 46, AJ Whip for the 10. Thank you so much to the Dentron and Grabbits. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, Hands is still playing. Yeah, he's going to win. I'll probably play Buddy Pranav or Billy Doe. Dennis is very suspicious. I just don't want to hear it, you guys. I, I really just don't want to hear it, okay? Seriously, I just don't want to hear it. Yeah. I could play Magnus. I mean, I could play anybody. But I'd most likely play up because I'm the highest rated seed. So I'd probably play Buddy Pranav or Billy Doe. Yeah, that's what I expected. I'd play Buddy Pranav here. This is a strong title of Tuesday. The winning score here is very low. Like, a winning score here is probably going to be 9 if I had to best bet. Um, what do I want to play against Buddy? E5, C5, E6, C6. I don't... I don't want to play a modern, but let's go for it. Because I need to win. I mean, I guess I don't need to win, but I need to win. I would very... Normally, I would not. I'd play, like, E5 and be solid or Sicilian or something. Could play a Sicilian. Let's play a Sicilian here. And Queen A5 takes. Now this does let... I mean, I can grab extra pawns. I need to win this game, right? So... Let's go for it. Oh, wait. No, but now he has Queen D4. Oh, I played the wrong line. Oh, he doesn't do it. Okay. Queen D4, and I think white was just clearly better. go here go here in queen c7 i'm much worse if he plays this correctly but this is what i want i want something that's on the edge where basically um it has to be a decisive result because the draw is not going to get it done for me if i draw this game too many guys on seven and a half are going to break through so I, i'm going to treat this like win loss situation i'm going to go for the classic 50 50 where i either win or i w win or i lose let's go back I don't want to let him get rook b5 and e5 basically that's that's why i'm treating this game so if he can beat me good for him but so be it like uh if i go here he's gonna play bishop h6 maybe i don't care i literally don't care let's 
Let's go B6. This actually looks very dubious for me. I think I'm gonna try to Fianchito and Castle Queenside. This looks highly dubious. Like highly, 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 highly dubious. But as I said, oh, he goes D5. Interesting. E5. Interesting. Wait. Do I take? So actually looks kind of wrong. Maybe he thought he could take, but I take, take, take. He also has Bishop G7, which I didn't see at all. But Queen D5 should be wrong. Knight G5, Knight D8. I think he didn't see Knight D. Well, I mean, okay, at this point, someone's missing something. I mean, I also have Knight, like, Knight G5, I can also castle or something. I think I have to go E6. I don't, I don't want to, but I think I have to. Yeah, I have to go for this. I'm probably going to get mated somehow, but if I'm not getting mated, I'm actually completely fine. That's what's funny. Like, I assume I'm just completely getting smoked off the, off the face of the planet here, but... trick here wait do I have any tricks <sighs> nah, I'm probably just lost yeah I'm probably just lost here I go queen d8 nope Yeah, I'm just lost. Queen e5, f6 was just losing too, so yeah. Went for something that was just not good enough. At least I can move my recap one, one round early, I guess. Um... I guess I'll go here and try to come up with some miracles. No, but this doesn't even... This is new. Well, Knight of Seven, maybe. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Knight B8, Rook D1, Rook D8, Bishop G5 is just winning for White. Yeah, it's more than good enough for White. Um. Okay, let's just go here. No, but even this doesn't work. I mean, what am I doing? Even this is easy enough, Bishop B3. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah, no, I mean, th th this was just all very poor by me. What I should have done here is played Bishop E6 and Knight E7. It's still very bad, but yeah. Even knows it. No, I mean, there's no point playing on here at the end. Because because even Bishop even Bishop E3 just wins. Like, there are literally 20 moves. Queen H8 wins, Bishop E3 wins. I don't want to waste time. So, all right, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, let's withdraw from the turn. Or... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have withdrawn from the turn, but whatever. Who cares? Thank you, sausage roll. Thank you, A1J. All right, let's move on.